guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I am going to be doing a first impression slash swatch slash review on the EXO Beauty um, lipsticks. I, I got the liquid, the liquid lips because the bundle for the lipsticks was like $119 or something like that. And this was about $89 or something like that. I'm obviously double checking the website and put it across the screen, the exact, um, the exact accurate prices. Like I said, I did get the liquid lips. I do look forward to getting the um, lipsticks. Yes. Also, I have just finished up with a um, Olivia Ball look, hence this wig and the makeup. So, makeup is going to be looking a little bit zombie fine for these swatches. <laughs> yeah, but you've obviously already seen the um, is I'm going to put this up first or the Olivia Ball one. So, whether or not this video is up first before the Olivia, Olivia Ball one or after, I don't know, but I'll figure that out when I edit it and make up my mind. First, I'm just going to get it out of this fuzzy package. So, besides Shannon's video, obviously, I have seen zero reviews. This. I did see one video on it with um, the girl looking a bit concerned in the thumbnail but I didn't actually watch the video. I didn't want to um, open myself up to this disappointment much like I did with um, Kylie Cosmetics because everybody was either so happy about them or so disappointed. The best, best of both worlds. Okay, so this is super cute packaging. The dot, but um, it's white with a grey polka dots. So you have, of course, got XA Beauty on the front of it. Uh, not XA, yeah, XA Beauty and the lipstick. I have the shade, um, shade Lavatong. Empowered, Ineffable, and Elysian. Definitely some irre um, yeah, irregular shade sounding names. Like, they're definitely an average name, which I like about these lipsticks already. Um, so unoriginal, they're, um, they're very unique. Shades um, have, of course, been said that before, but the yeah, names, however, it's what, um, it's what really grabs a lot of people's attention, like different names. And what I like about best about these names is they're not sex related names. Like, unfortunately, sex sells through everything. Anyway, so enough talk. I'm going to get this out of the package. You can see the colour through this little glass part here, which I'll show you a close up. Hopefully, that's in focus. So, you can see the colour through the tube, and it is a nice silver tube. I'm obviously going to swatch it on the back of my hand. It's a lot of nice pigments. And that's a nice um, flamingo orange neon shade, which orange. And of course, on the mothers. But then that's bright. <laughs> Okay, so it's probably the best um, a mix of both that I have dry lips, which is actually making the shade patchy, but zooming in slightly. But it is a little bit, um, the little bit patchy, uh, probably because I also have very dry lips. It doesn't really give up the, li the, li the liquid lipstick effect advantage. It's definitely very creamy. They feel a lot like the um, Too Faced Melt and Matte range. It's not a shade too bright for me, for my liking, but it is a really nice colour. So that was once again um, Ian. Latong. I hope I'm pronouncing this right and don't show this injustice. This was Latong. It really super bright. Every time I smack my lips, um, like it is getting a little bit thicker. Then again, it's probably again like I just said, probably that I have dry lips. Okay, so next shade in line is Impavid. A slightly darker, um, orangish red. That's in focus enough so that you can see me quite clearly. Oh no, it's a gorgeous shade. I'll definitely like this one. <laughs> no, so the doe foot's actually quite flat. A lot of them are a lot more like um, a Barbie shaped foot. Same. Oh, push up my lip ring up this time. Okay, so this one is definitely a lot better than the original one. I thought this was. Latong. This one is in. Impavid. They yeah, are much more brighter. It's like the typical cherry, lady in red type of red lip. Um, so this is what it looks like on the hand. Um, so my, this one uh, is still very tacky They are definitely transferable. So if you're going to make out with somebody, maybe wear a different brand. This is obviously just good for if you're going out for a while, going to a party or something. As I spread my lips together, it does sort of dial down and shine a little bit. But um, unfortunately, they, do, they would transfer because I just tapped a little bit of this and I got some on my finger. This one's a lot less patchy, so it must just be... Um, must have actually just been the formula, formula and the fact that I have dry lips. Um, this one is definitely a lot more opaque and definitely, I mean, they're both very pigmented, but this one's very, very, very pigmented. I honestly do such a great job of being framed, than I? <laughs> so this one was once again in, in Pavard. I'm going to sort of remove half of it. It does actually leave a really nice pretty colour behind, like lip stain. Okay, so next shade along, um, I look, I, blah, blah. I know I look like I have a different lip on, but it's just a bit of foundation. Um, the last one really stuck. <laughs> this one is Elysian, which is going to be most like a bright, typical Barbie pink, or very typical Shan XO pink, she calls it. 
it called it. <laughs> so this is what the um, shade that is in looks like. It's going to some kind of um, transparent patchy one. Okay, so this one is pretty much like the orange one. Very, 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 very bright and really, really streaky. So I guess the brighter the colour is, the streakier it is. I did also feel like a crap ton on this side just to see if it would make any difference. But colours are beautiful, but for some reason so far only this one shade has worked well for me. This one was once again in Elysian. Okay, lucky last one, which is um, Ineffable. So this one is ineffable, it looks like a close in the tube. Also looks like it's going to work pretty well for me. Okay, so it's quite typical of the dark, two darker shades, which is these two. Um, Impavid and Ineffable have both worked really well for me. Then once again, a really, 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 really bright shade. So now that these have dried out a bit more, and they're still very, very transfer, um, transferable. Definitely would not recommend you make out with anyone. For greasy food, I'm just going to completely wipe this clean like a baby white would. I love the shades, um, these two. And they go on really, really smooth and really, really creamy, uh, much like the Melted Matte Range uh, Too Faced does. These two I like the most. Impavid and Ineffable. I love them two the most, but the other two um, are... So it's supposed to be the nudier, peachier side, but a lot more neon tones, in my opinion. I love this shade too. Okay, when did I switch off? So I was basically saying that I'm, I was really love this shade, plus the Empowered shade, which is... This shade, this shade works really, really well for me, and so does this shade. The other two are a little bit too neon, a bit too retro looking. These two, um, I believe they're meant to be like some sort of like peachier, pinkier tones, but they uh, look way too neon-ish, um, which... I'm glad that Impavid and Ineffable work really well for me, but still. So they do feel a lot like um, Too Faced Muscle Matte Range when you put them on. They are very transferable, they will go everywhere if you kiss someone or eat something. They are absolutely beautiful, so two colours have worked really well for me out of the entire liquid lipstick bundle. It's not a liquid lipstick, it's more like a mousse lipstick. It's all definitely a transfer, it will not, will not drop down to a complete matte tone and stay put. <laughs> There's a lot of pigment, so when you do go to wipe your lips off, there will still be like a stain or a tint left over, so it's not like you're gonna have um, your own lips back again. So, there we go. <laughs> so yes, I do hope you enjoyed this video and, you know, got my, got a good point of my, got a good view of my point on this video. So I am pretty happy with um, these two shades, but the other two, um, probably just, Set them aside for like a Halloween look or something like that if I'm ever going to or even like a um, Monster High look because I'm still doing my Monster High series. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed this video and I shall see you all for my future videos. Bye!